Hello and thanks for joining us on another one of our No Fluff Tech Tip videos. This is Richard Jobson with Terraquant. Today we are going to present to you one of our Can You Hear Me Now? series of VoIP service assurance videos, troubleshooting and maintaining high performance and good call quality on your IP telephony network. Terraquant No Fluff Tech Tips blogs make the best use of your time. Your time is valuable. So we come straight to the point, showing you how you can solve telecom and network problems with practical tech tips and hands-on demos. So let's get started. Let me cover the agenda for the video. Today, we're going to show you how to find dropped calls on a wired VoIP network. Not a cellular network, but a VoIP network. Uh, these do happen from time to time, quite regularly. So we're gonna cover the symptoms of a dropped call and the common causes of dropped calls. How can we recognize them when they happen? Then we're gonna show you a quick video on how you can find them in seconds with Oracle's EOM, a SIP monitoring solution, which Terraquant introduced to the market way back in 2008. So uh, we've, we've got a lot of experience in that. And then we'll touch on how to fix dropped calls. So what are the symptoms of a dropped call? How can we recognize them? Dropped calls do occur on cell phone networks. We're all familiar with that. But they, as I've said, also do occur quite regularly on wired networks, on voice over IP networks. They might be preceded with choppy or garbled audio or we might just get dead air, you know, suddenly if you find yourself talking to yourself, hello, are you still there? Is the other party still there? Sometimes the call does not initially connect. You get a fast busy or please try your call again later. This is a failed call and we will deal with these on the next Can You Hear Me Now series of videos. Let's have a quick look at the EOM architecture of the monitoring system. And let's just point out that uh, Drop calls are a challenging area for a monitoring equipment to find because the signaling or the RTP media of a VoIP call just disappears. There's nothing to filter on in your monitoring system. However, the Oracle EOM, which Terraquant has over a decade of experience in, has some smarts because it statefully analyzes each packet, uh, looks for what packet should be coming next and if it's totally absent, then these are the indications of a drop call. So it has some smarts that allow you to isolate these drop calls in seconds. And the demo will show that. And you, then you can troubleshoot the root cause of the problem. Let's go to the Oracle EOM browser user interface. And let's go to the calls page to do some troubleshooting. Here we have all the calls that we're monitoring being entered into the database. We have call activity up here. We can go back seven, 30 days of history. All the calls will be there. And we can see this call and we can filter on who made the call, the destination call ed number, a whole raft of different parameters, how the call ended, what the voice quality was. We'll all cover these in a future can you hear me now series of videos? But for now, let's try and find our dropped call. Let's go to this very special column here called state. So under the state column, EOM gets opinionated. It actually classifies all the calls according to plain old text and descriptions such as proceeding it's a real-time system it'll show you when the call is ringing to proceeding to established you can see some established here some have even failed so we'll pick out the failures we'll cover that in another can you hear me now video let's select this very special category called timed out and filter on all the timed out calls because they're the ones that indicate our dropped calls so there's been quite a few of them here. Let's just pick one at random and zoom down on the ladder diagram or the message flow diagram. Here you can see the invite setting up the call coming in from the originator, hitting our network on the access gateway, going through our SPC, um, the, uh, our uh, PBX responding to that. 
and you can see a perfectly satisfactory call setup uh, ending in a 200 acknowledged by the originating end um, and then you see some RTP down here carrying the media, the voice packets. So what happens after that? Well, not much. We see start RTP and we see end RTP in both directions, but no signaling, no sit by, no control to terminate the call, or we don't see any error messages indicating a failure. Well, this is a classic symptoms of a drop call it just disappears off the radar so here we've put together a brief table of the causes of drop calls and how you can fix them and we won't hold you up here on this video you can just uh, pull this table off our website we'll give you the link in a minute here and uh, there are quite a few obviously different causes for this kind of uh, problem and they have different remedies as well so here's just a summary of what we did in EOM to detect the drop calls. Uh, remember to use the timed out filter in the state column as shown here in the diagram. If you'd like to know more about EOM or interested in advanced training on your EOM system that you currently own and use, please come to the original experts, Derek Want, and we'd love to talk with you. So there'll be more in the Can You Hear Me Now series of practical and time-saving tech tips for troubleshooting and service assurance from the original Palladian experts, EOM experts. We value your time. No fluff on these. Sorry, Bunny, you gotta go. And please look out for more tech tips from terraquant.com slash blog. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.